Hello everyone, Kerry Lou here. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I have a confession to make. As a professional makeup artist, I always have the very best for my clients. The best makeup, the best lighting, even a tall chair for them to sit on. In my makeup studio, there are drawers and cupboards for all my supplies, a place for everything and everything in its place. But at home for me, it was a different story. I didn't have an area that was dedicated for my makeup and hair supplies and for getting me ready. So today I want to show you a home decorating project that I undertook this month. I turned a messy corner of a room into a glamorous diva corner. What's a diva corner you may ask? Well, it's a place where you can go to turn into the goddess that you really are. Some people are lucky enough to have a whole room dedicated to getting glammed up and getting in touch with their inner diva. But since that's not the case with everyone, I decided to see what I could do when you only have a corner of a room to work with. So here goes. This was how the whole room looked. I used it for working out and computer work mostly. So this is the corner to be transformed. Then, as any self-respecting Brit knows, you have to have a tea break before you even start. First, I repainted over the original pink color to freshen it up. The room had been a pink for a long time and I thought I was going to totally change the wall color. But after looking at lots of different colors, I decided I actually liked that original pink. But I'm going to add a wide gray stripe to change it up a bit. I was entertaining this eggplant kind of purple color, but it wouldn't have been very flattering if it reflected on my face. This masking tape was so helpful in helping me to make the wide gray striping. It kept the lines really nice and crisp. Okay, I think that's turned out really well. I've been buying these cell shades from Home Depot for years for various rooms and I still like them, so I'm just refreshing them with new ones. They're a little tricky to remove. Nothing like some new blinds to freshen up the windows. And now to install the curtain rods for the valances. Every girl should own her own drill. I bought these valances from Wayfair. I think they go with the grey in the wall really nicely and they really add to the feminine look of this corner. Even though this project was not about my computer desk area, I did window treatments to this window also just to tie everything together. I am so happy with how everything is looking so far. So this is the result of all the hard work. I think it's been really worth it. I am so thrilled with how this turned out. As I said before, I didn't have a dedicated space where I could do my own makeup and hair and this has turned out better than I expected even. I just love the pink stripes with the grey and the curtains turned out beautiful. The nice thing about this pink is that it gives you, it bounces back and gives you a nice glow on your face. So this is my IKEA desk turned vanity and I think it worked out really well. It has lots of nice drawer space so I can put all my makeup palettes in there and er everything fit. Um, I do have a little extra caddy here for some things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I can get out the house really fast. I can just grab that, put on a little makeup and go. So this is actually a piano bench and it makes a really nice stool. It goes perfectly with the Ikea vanity. It has extra storage, which I haven't yet used, but believe me, I will. Great lighting is so important when you're putting on makeup. I cannot stress it enough. So I am so happy with this lit mirror that I purchased and it 
has these lovely dimmable lights. This one is by Impressions, but if you look at the video description, I give links to a few really good makeup mirrors that you might like. I'm so happy that I have space for everything I need when I'm putting on my makeup, so no running around looking for things. This is my area, my area that's dedicated to getting glammed up. So I have this cute little tissue box cover here because I put a tissue box there, just a plain cardboard one, and I was like, no, no, you have to get dressed up. So I put this cute little cover on it and that looks so much better. I have my little canisters here that I got from Amazon to put cotton balls and Q-tips, keep me all organized. It even smells wonderful here. Thanks to this beautiful flower arrangement by Eternal Roses. These are actually real roses and real hydrangea. They're treated in a way that helps them last for years and they still retain their beautiful fragrance. Mm, they make such a lovely gift either to yourself or to somebody that you really care about. You know it all looks so inviting, I think I'll take it for a test drive. Well I hope you enjoyed this tour of the making of my own little diva corner. Until next time, stay fabulous darlings. <laughs>